we have a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta turbo diesel with a DSG transmission and we replaced the clutch pack in it and now we're going to show you how to do transmission basic settings so you go to automatic transmission control module scan and see if you have any codes you have no error codes you're going to need to have the car running it should be in park the brake pedal should be pressed check the transmission temperature channel 19 in, uh, in measuring box should be in between 30 and about 80 degrees Celsius see we good to go now we open basic settings channel 61 You'll feel and hear the transmission clicking and ticking, making noise. Whenever these numbers stop moving, that's when the basic settings are done. Make sure you're gonna do, it's gonna take several seconds to a minute of, for each basic setting adaptation to be done. So wait for the numbers to stop moving and the basic settings should turn on when the when it's done uh, and make sure that you do the all the basic settings in the same order as we're doing it right now you hear and feel periodic with transmission doing something like shifts or engaging some sort of mechanisms inside Oops, see our numbers stop moving and our basic settings turn to on. Now we're going to go to channel 60 and do the same thing. It's going to take up to a minute. Your transmission is going to be trying to shift or do its thing. You see the numbers changing. Now numbers stop changing and the basic settings turn to on, the adaptation is complete. You could go to the next step. Okay, now go to channel 68. Then channel 65. In these channels you got a quick on off on basic settings and you gotta go to channel 69 Oops. and now your basic settings are complete then go back turn off the car wait for about 10 seconds then uh, restart it and do a proper test drive now we're done with the basic settings now we're gonna do a test drive on this car it's gotta be a specific way of driving the car and I'll explain you what you have to do in a second. Now the proper test drive, we're gonna have to put it into Teptronic mode and start driving manually switching gears. Your RPM range should be between 1200 and 3200 and you're gonna have to drive either in third or fifth gear for about five minutes and then switch into fourth or sixth gear and drive for about five minutes as well we're not gonna record the whole five minutes we're gonna be driving in third gear so we're gonna fast forward it a little bit
now we drove it for about five minutes in third gear now we're gonna switch it to fourth and drive another like five minutes in fourth gear okay so we drove for about five minutes in fourth gear now we're gonna take it through all the gears the rest of them switch it in fifth drive it just for a bit you don't have to drive it for five minutes in fifth gear take it to six The last step is gonna be we're gonna need to switch it back to drive and perform a sharp stop. So we're gonna get it up to like 40 miles an hour and slow down real fast. Now make sure nobody's behind you so you don't get rear-ended. Make sure you observe all the safety conditions on the road. Okay, here we go. We got about 40 miles an hour, so we're gonna slam the brake pedal. I almost stop. Don't stop completely, just almost stop. And then it's gonna have to be followed by a full throttle acceleration to at least back to 40 miles an hour. So here you go. Drive the car, observe how your transmission is acting, and if everything is good, you're all set.